Chancellor Dooley, the candidates are assembled. Welcome to everyone. I'm Dr. Frank Dooley, Chancellor of Purdue University Global. And one of the things that we're going to do is the speakers will take their mask off, but we're going to ask that everyone else be masked throughout the ceremony today for the safety of everyone. Now, whether you're with us here in West Lafayette or participating from home, let me be the first to welcome you to our 11th commencement ceremony and the first in West Lafayette. So let's clap for that. For those of you not standing, would you please rise for the presentation of the colors, the national anthem, and the retiring of the colors. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Please be seated. Join me in recognizing and thanking the members of the Purdue University Air Force ROTC. Thank you very much. And Lisa, where are you? I also want to thank our, our soloist, Lisa Calderon, for sharing her beautiful voice with us. She's earn, earned a magna cum laude honors and is graduating today with a bachelor's degree in communication. So she's got more to celebrate. <laughs> We're going to start by introducing the dedicated members of our university administration and faculty who are joining today's celebration. So please stand when I announce your name and remain standing. 
Dr. Paul Bott, Board of Trustees. Dr. John Harbour, Provost. Dr. Judith Lewandowski, Vice Provost. Mr. Michael Lorenz, Vice President of Academic Operations and Registrar. Dr. Carolyn Nordstrom, Vice President of Faculty and Academic Resources from the Concord Law School. Dean and Vice President, Martin Pritkin. Professor Latifa Muhammad from the School of Nursing. Dean and Vice President, Dr. Melissa Birdie. Professors, Dr. Julie Grissom and Morgan Dutler. From the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Dean and Vice President, Dr. Sarah Sander. Professors, Dr. Gabrielle Blackman and Dr. Krista Pitts. From the School of General Education, Dean and Vice President, Dr. Jody DeCourt. Professors, Dr. Ritu Sharma and Dr. Carolyn Stevenson. Please join in welcoming them. Now, I, I'm just thrilled that we're able to celebrate here on campus where the history of Purdue University began over 150 years ago. And if you went back 150 years ago, classes began with six instructors and 39 students. And where are we today? How far have we come? Well, West Lafayette, the campus here, has 50,000 students. And Purdue Global, our university, has another 35 students. We're grateful to provide a ceremony that brings us all together, no matter where we live around the globe. And also, are you here in, with us today in Elliott Hall or joining us virtually? Graduates, it's quite remarkable. At today's ceremonies, you represent 49 states, including Washington, D.C., places around the world like Canada, Hong Kong, Jamaica, Japan, the Middle East, the Philippines, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. I love that we remain close through this institution as we commemorate your accomplishments today. But I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest, graduates, that while you are all amazing, you didn't get here today on your own. You leaned on family and friends for encouragement and support through your journey at Purdue Global. So let's take a moment to thank your support team and show them our appreciation. And we got cowbells, I'm good, this is feeling good, all right. As Will Ferrell would say, more cowbells, right? All right, what a great support system you've had during your journey, you wouldn't have made it without them. We are honored that our Purdue Global student body includes nearly 5,000 active duty National Guard and Reserve military members serving around the globe over 1,400 military family members, and around 2,800 veterans. That's over 9,000 of our students affiliated with the military. Would each of you in the audience today who is an active service member or a veteran please stand? Thank you so much for your service. So while I'm at it, let me share with you what makes your class and your alma mater so remarkable. So we're gonna do some gymnastics here. With the graduates who are attending today, as a first generation graduate, please rise and remain standing. So if you're a first gen student, please stand up. I'm here too. To put it in perspective, almost half, no, stay standing, you don't get to sit down, come on. 
Part of going to school is following directions, all right? Well, the graduates, almost half of our students were first gen, all right? Well, the graduates who had a job or were in the military service while attending school, please rise and remain standing. Come on. Will the graduates who cared for a child or other dependent while obtaining your degree please rise and remain standing? If you're already standing, raise your hand. We're doing Venn diagrams now. It's another 60% of our students. If you look around right now, almost everybody is standing. So, so you can sit down now. In addition to those with us in Elliott Hall today, we, we want to recognize that over the last year, over 10,000 Purdue Global graduates have obtained their degree. What a wonderful story. And, and you know, I, I drive the people who run graduation a little bit crazy because I go off script once in a while. Was anybody at the basketball game last night? Would you please raise your hand? All right, there, there. You know, when I watch the game, um, they're, they're wonderful to watch this year, they, they, but they talk to me about the Purdue Global graduates, and, and in three ways. Number one, you know, we, we've gotten really used this year to really being really, really good, which the Purdue Global students are. Second thing, though, is what they showed yesterday, you, you know, with what, eight minutes or something left, we're up by 19 points, all right, we got another one, and all of a sudden, here came Iowa charging. And it would have been real easy to fold, but they didn't. And what it showed, you know, and I'm pretty sure as a student during your journey, there were days when it had been easy, just, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But there was the persistence there, and they stayed with it, and they, they battled through and won. And a lot of life is battling through and won. And then the last thing, not the last thing, the second thing that they show over and over and over again is the teamwork, you know. One, one announcer earlier this week said that Purdue, Global, Purdue University's basketball teams like Noah's Ark, they have two of everything. Um, they have an all-American coming off the bench as center, and he's the biggest cheerleader on that team. And it's, it's when your leaders are supporting everyone that you know that you've got a great team. They're a remarkable team. They're going to be number one in the country on Monday, just like you're number one with me. So thank you. And I guess what I'm trying to say that what you've done is so remarkable given all the things we talked about, being a first gen, having children or, or other dependents and working and going through school, all, you've juggled so many things and you're here today. What an accomplishment. And, and just to make life a little more interesting in the last 20 months, we threw COVID at you, right? Um, it just takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get here, and you should be incredibly proud. So let's take a hand for this. And now, I have a wonderful honor to introduce our commencement speaker, Air Force. Now, it says veteran on my notes, but actually, he's still in the Air Force, so um, active duty, Uran Lee. Uran is a Purdue University Global alumnus. He graduated summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Health and Wellness. He was with us in Washington, D.C. in August, and he showed me a picture last night of me when he came across the stage, which some of you are going to be doing in about 20 minutes or so. So please welcome me, join me in welcoming Uran Lee. Uran. Y'all ready? All of my certification, associates, and bachelor degree candidates, if you can hear me, clap once. Masters, doctorates, law degree candidates, if you can hear me, clap twice. Family and friends, if you can hear me, clap three times. 
Okay, so that wasn't a mic check. That was me protecting my own ego. In the event that the words I say to you don't move you, you've already given me my applause. It's all downhill from here. So before I get started, I have to do something that I do every time I get on stage, no matter where I am. And that's to send a heartfelt shout out to the woman that's held me down for 23 years, my beautiful wife, Sonia, I love you. Thank you for coming. To everyone else, I have a confession. I was a little nervous about doing this. Even though I auditioned, got selected, came up with what I thought was a solid game plan and a solid message, every time I rehearsed, I kept going over my allotted time. So I had to keep cutting it down and cutting it down. And it got a little stressful, but then I realized something. I've been in stressful situations before. And your boy is clutch. I mean, it came down to the wire, but like many of you, I too like to live dangerously because like many of you, I do my best work at 11.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Holly, if you hear me. So y'all feel me, we're getting there, I'm getting excited. And I'm excited for all the graduates because I remember back in August in our nation's capital, where I was where you were in my seat, adrenaline pumping with one thing on my mind. It wasn't the future. It wasn't how long is this ceremony gonna actually last, which I know some of you are probably thinking that. No, the one thing that was on my mind was, is the announcer gonna say my name right? Am I the only one? Well, let me put your fears to rest. They do an excellent job. Now, if my timeline is right, though, some of you right now are going through your obligatory shout-outs on social media, your family, your friends, spouse, kids, what have you. But on this day, I want to challenge you all to go a little deeper. I want you to reach down and thank those who rarely get recognized but are so key to our success. Of course, I'm talking about the creators of Citation Machine and Grammarly, <laughs> a.k.a. Lifesavers. Come on now. Okay, so the ice is broken, let's dive in. Graduates, I am so humbled and honored to be standing here speaking to you today. I want you to encapsulate this moment with positive memories, but in the words of the carpenters, we've only just begun. This is where the grind starts. Do you know where all those late night homework assignments, discussion questions, quizzes, group projects, <laughs> and those end of term surveys got you? Right here, to the starting line. This is where your race starts. This is where the grind starts. Now I can see some of y'all looking at me like, this dude is crazy. He don't know my life. I've been grinding the whole time I've been in school. And to that I can agree. I am not negating your level of grind up until now, but this is not the type of grind that I'm talking about. Because keeping it real, at the end of this ceremony, at the decree of the chancellor, all of you are gonna walk out of here with an awesome certificate that says that you know how to do a thing. The grind is going out into the world and doing that thing and killing it. In the face of all kinds of adversities, an ever-changing pandemic and an ever-growing field of competition and coming out on top. And if you ever feel that you get lost on this grind mission that I'm gonna put you on, just remember why you started in the first place. Whether it was a childhood dream or a newfound love, going back to the beginning will put you on center and lead you down the correct path. Now this grind mission has five steps and I'm gonna go through them fairly quickly because y'all not about to blame me for how long this ceremony is gonna be. <laughs> Step one, sincerely thank everyone that's ever come before you. Anyone who you have ever looked up to, anyone who has ever given you any advice on, not, on how to accomplish not only this goal, but any goal in life, if they are still around, 
thank them. Because continued success does not happen all by your lonely. Notice I focused on the word continued because trust me, I understand that you can succeed on your own, but with a strong support team that has your back, you will not lose. So thank your people. On the flip side of that, thank your haters. Those who you know low-key doubted you ever got here, hunt them down. And kill them with kindness. Flick your tassel in their face. Because the hate that they gave you fueled you to get here and to do it with an air of confidence that would make anyone ever doubt you ever again. So thank your haters. Step two, start procuring the tools that's gonna take to pave the way for those coming behind you. You all are now a benchmark of success. You are a standard. My military folk, you have troops, subordinates. You are charged with getting them to where you are and living out their fullest potential. My civilians, you have a community of younger people that are looking up to you. Give them your stories, your anecdotes, your successes, your failures, but most importantly, give them your time because the next generation needs it. Step three, network. Network, 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 and for good measure, network. Because I'm sure we can all finish this statement, so I want y'all to do it for me, you ready? It's not what you know. Has everybody ever thought about asking Purdue University to use that as a grading criteria? I mean, don't get me wrong, you see the gold, I did my thing, we did our thing, I'm just saying it would be a lot easier if we can just turn in a paper with a list of everybody we follow on Instagram, am I right? Okay, sorry, tangent, my bad. Back to what I was saying. Graduates, you've been in classes for 10 weeks, maybe less, maybe more, with people that you never met face to face. Some of you may be meeting for the first time today. Keep, that, keep those communications open, okay? But I want you to listen to me and listen good on this part. If you ever said, or if you ever plan on saying, if you ever need anything from me, let me know. Understand that that is a lifetime contract. That person that you said it to may not need you in the next second, minute, hour, day, week, month, or year. But when they call on you, honor your word. As well as understand that you guys are gonna be in a position one day to help somebody. Somebody's gonna be in a position to help you out. Don't burn bridges. Copy? Step four. Leave a legacy. I read that the best thing that you can do for this earth is to write a book. So I challenge you all to write a book. I'm not saying it has to be a best-selling novel, but each and every one of you are different. Each and every one of you handles situations differently. Put your thoughts down in a book, in a blog, somewhere where it can be immortalized for generations to come because I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be somebody that's gonna need you long after you're gone and your words are gonna get them through. So leave a legacy. Step five, rep your squad. You all are now about to enter into a brotherhood slash sisterhood called alumni. And you will be charged with repping Purdue University Global to the fullest. Whether you decide to wear some merch, put a sticker in your car, or word of mouth, let people know where you got your education from. Show them what Purdue University Global is all about. Rep your squad to the fullest. And that's it. That is the grind mission that I'm putting you on. Be humble, pay it forward, network, leave a legacy, and rep your squad. Now I'm gonna finish this off with a quote from my father, who said, son, the last thing you say to someone may ultimately be the last thing you say to anyone. 
So choose your words wisely and speak from your heart. Graduates today, from the bottom of my heart, congratulations. You deserve everything because you've worked so hard. My military folks, I salute you. My civilians, chest pound. Congratulations, graduates, you've made it. Your mission starts now. Thank you. You know the beautiful thing? Uran's inspiring message, he just lived it. He graduated in August and he's back paying it forward just like he's telling you to. So thank you again. All right, it's now time to turn our highlight to our graduates. All right, this is when it's starting, all right? Will the doctoral candidates please rise? So as you go across this great country, only 2% of our nation's populations have a doctoral degree. Please be seated. Will the master's candidates please rise? There's more of them. There's about 9% of our nation's population, so please be seated. All right, well, prior to the pandemic, if you were a doctoral or a master's level graduate, you would have been hooded on stage as a formal way to recognize your great accomplishment. For this ceremony to assure everyone's health and safety, the graduates were able to sub submit a video of themselves being hooded by a loved one. To commemorate this special occasion, we've highlighted a few of them. And you can see them on the screens, right? Getting your master's or doctoral degree is an incredible accomplishment. Congratulations to each of you. And I know as somebody who's hooded my own grad students, it's a very special feeling, but I'm confident that it's also great to be hooded by a loved one. So, all right, thank you. Now, we're also proud to recognize our graduates who have earned academic honors by achieving high cumulative, grad, cumulative grade point averages in their associate's or bachelor's program. They're noted in the program with an asterisk next to their name. So will the graduates who earned a cum laude honors please rise? And they're wearing the white cords to recognize this achievement. Cum laude grads, yes. Please be seated. Will the graduates who earn magna cum laude honors please rise? They're wearing the silver cords for their achievement. So please rise. Well done. Please be seated. And now, for the graduates who have demonstrated exemplary ability and discipline by earning perfect scores in all of their courses at the university, or summa cum laude graduates, please rise and show off those gold cords. <laughs> Straight A's the entire time you're here. I I never experienced that myself, so congratulations on your achievement. Please be seated. So graduates, I want to ask you right now, how are you feeling? Good? Might be time for some cowbells. Come on, let's go here. There we are. I'm not sure, are they cowbells or jingle bells? We're going to have to figure that one out. Um, it's just nice to hear the cheers and see you celebrating. I think you're getting the, the, the vibe that, you know, today's a lot about recognizing and celebrating. And, 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 you know, whether you're in the audience with us today or participating from home, 
Let's show the world how proud you are by using the hashtag Purdue Global Proud when posting on social media. And some of you might be posting right now, all right. All right, so now is the time. It's the reason we're all here today is to recognize our graduates. All right, grads, once again. We're gonna be starting, you're gonna be processing across the stage. But in order to remain safe, just gonna inform you that you're gonna shake, you won't be shaking hands today. We might give you a fist bump, but uh, it, you know, we just need to be ultimate careful today. So it'll be either the provost or myself. I'm gonna start by recognizing our over 900 virtual graduated graduates who are participating from around the world. So virtual graduates, please rise so I can formally recognize you for your degree. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University Global, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon each of you the doctoral, master's, bachelor's, associate's, or certificate with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. Virtual graduates, congratulations to you. Will the Concord Law School candidates please rise? Chancellor Dewey. These students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of Concord Law School. With the approval of the faculty, they are now being presented to you to be formally recognized for their degree. Thank you, Professor Muhammad. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University Global, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon each of you the doctoral degree with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of this great achievement, you will now be formally recognized. I invite the marshals to escort all the students from Concord Law School to the stage. Graduates, as you approach the stage after your degree is confirmed, you hear a few words of messages from folks who couldn't be present in the audience today. At 11 a.m. today, you might hear the county emergency sirens. This is only a test. Hey, congratulations on graduating graduate from law school. It's a huge accomplishment for something that I'm continuing to be proud of, even though it's been many, many years in the past. Of course, I can't wait to start working with you right away so we can do the next step and get you past the bar exam. So congratulations again, enjoy the day, and we'll get working on it right away tomorrow. Congratulations, graduates. <clears throat> the following candidates from Concord Law School are earning their executive Juris Doctor or Juris Doctor degree. Renita Harris. Matt Hughes, U.S. Marines veteran. Victoria Ronane. Vivek Shankem. <laughs> Alyssa Spates. Alicia. Alicia Spates. Concord Law students, 
That was six different states, because I'm asking you where you're from, and six states, we got 43 to go. All right. Dean Birdie. Will the School of Nursing candidates please rise? <laughs> Chancellor Dooley, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the School of Nursing. With the approval of the faculty, they are now being presented to you to be formally recognized for their degree. Thank you, Dean, Dr. Birdie. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University Global Legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon each of you the Master, Bachelor, Associates, or Certificate with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of this great achievement, you will now be formally recognized. I invite the marshals to escort the students from the School of Nursing to the stage. Congratulations, graduates. Congrats to our 2021 Purdue Global graduates. We couldn't be more proud of you and wish you the best. The following candidates from the School of Nursing are receiving their postgraduate certificate or their master's level degree. Kristen Absher. Donna Godfrey. Natasha Sananan Oyanane. Daniela Klecker, U.S. Navy. Ruby, Ruby Agabas. Diana Ruono Mies. Janine Beard, U.S. Marines veteran. Jenny Valise Uzura. Melinda Blanco. Aaron Wiles. Jessica Bai. Sarah Belden. Clara Lee Clark. Bianca Chambers. Eva Diama. Natasia Jones. Annabelle Carosa. Rachel Pink. Amber Gephardt. Patricia Baltazar. Danielle Hall. Linda Burko. Kaylin Hoover. Crystal Box. Nicole Cocker, U.S. Army. Hannah Burrick. Elizabeth Kupsik. Lorraine Burns, U.S. Navy. Casey McLaughlin. Melanie Carter. Kimberly Mobley. Chiquita Clark. Melissa Moore. 
Taryn Cowan. Janelle Mulligan. Joshimer Garcia. Cherry Guadez. Patricia Crimmins. Tiffany Navercall. Jennifer Mola. Elaine Olson. Makin Panka. Antoinette Apoku Siao. Bridget Murray. Novena Olabrice. Preeti Patel. Aaron Penny. Robert Rosentreter III, U.S. Air Force veteran. Corey Pickett. Annabelle Tan. Michelle Ray, U.S. Army veteran. Kelly Thuma. Carol Robinson. Denise Ward. Nikki Wolf. Cynthia Rozier. Bao Yang. Tracy Rose. Vanessa Marie Serrell. Lauren Swanson. Jake Artea. Marquita Thornton Sutton. <laughs> Crystal Wolslager. Following candidates from the School of Nursing are receiving their bachelor's or associate's degree. Lauren Bell. Demetrius Mazarov. Lashonda Lapsley Martin. Gerard Jumashwa. Angela Zubri Cano. 
Charles McDaniel. Dominique Hill. Chantel Johnson. Chelsea Nye. Karina Richardson. Emma Rubsom. Yahara Rojas Torres. Silverline Onazurika. You know, is there ever a time we need more nurses in this country? Congratulations to the nursing graduates. Will the College of Social and Behavioral Candidates please rise? Chancellor Dooley, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. With the approval of the faculty, they are now being presented to you to be formally recognized for their degree. Thank you, Dr. Sander. Exercise the authority of the trustees of Purdue University Global, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon you the Master, Bachelor, Associates, or Certificate with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of this great achievement, you will now be formally recognized, and I invite the marshals to escort all the students from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences to the stage. Terry Alexander. Following, sorry, the following candidates from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences are earning their master's degree. Charity Amanda Adams. Armstrong. Walansa Adefris. Natasha Baker. Ilan Alan. Ali Al Fadli. Verkisi Braxton. Madison Arisa. Anu Chowen. Regina Barrow, U.S. Army veteran. U.S. Army veteran. Tiana Blackson. Melanie Dunk. James Brandon, U.S. Army veteran. Francis Domingo. Courtney Chandler. Michaela Fieldstock. Marissa Clark. David Bradbury.
Sean Gilmartin. Lachlan Dodge. John Greider. Alicia Foster Miller. Rianne Hall. Granbury. Elizabeth Hansen. <laughs> Tiffany Akepete. Jennifer Gualdani. And Matthew Gualdani. Desiree Hunter. Nicole Hale. Courtney Jones. Brianna Hampton. Emily King. Jamie Lee. Taylor Hansen. Bria Lingley. Margaret Horn. Justin Jenkins. Kanisa Khan. Katisha Mayberry. Erica Landrum. Tashai Mayberry. Amy Ledman. Laura McCoy. Melinda Lee. Kenneth Lowe's John Camp. Mitchell. Kenneth Lowe's Camp. Brittany Moody. Anna Marie. Macau Tap Lee. Josie McClary. Casey Cazares. Sean McKee. Leslie O'Connor. Griselda Montana Serrano. Ulana Orchard. Allison Murphy. Stevie Perry. Penelope Perez. Andres Quintana. Noah Pilmick. 
Jay Reeves. Noah Pilnick. Jennifer Reynosa. Nicole Richardson. Sabrina Rigel. Cassie Rissy. Taylor Roberson. Nisha Santana. Fabian Sanchez. Jackie Skank. Courtney Sachs. Monica Spence. Leanne Shaw. Carrie Spurgeon. Lorenzo Spivey. Melanie Sullivan. April Stewart. Jaleesa Sutton. Amanda Watkins. Liz Thornton. Maria Cha. Aaliyah Walters. Erica Wendling. Lakeisha Wells. Lori Whitmore. Maria. Maria Whipple. Kentisha Williams. Elizabeth Wilcott. Michael Yates, U.S. Army veteran. The following candidates from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences are earning their bachelor's degree, associate's degree, or certificate. Yaritza Aponte. Marsha Allen. BJ Barty. Brendan Baker. Hillary Bolton. Adam Beard, U.S. Army. Ruthie Bast. Thomas Blanton Shadell. Amanda Belcher. Bruce Carey. Francine Britt Bowman. Ashley Cutberth. Kanisha Kazi, U.S. Army. Maria Jose Figuera. Grace Clark. Kanisha Vitayo. Sarah Derego. Ethan Foster, U.S. Army. Stephanie Dyquazen. Martina Franklin, U.S. Army veteran. 
Alicia Feliciano. Sheila Delgado. Latanya Fisher. Jose Gonzalez, U.S. Army. Shelly Forker. Jerry Hall. Kevin Harcourt. Lisa Grove. Gabriel Harley. Holly Gunn. Miranda Hughes. Danica Hammock. Christopher Jones. Rebecca Hardy. Kara Lane. Keyshawn Henderson. Rachel Cobb. Yerhaj Marta, U.S. Army. Stephen Lewis. Michaela Ionelli. Joshua Lynch. Autumn Lewis. Julia May. Korea Lavelle. Sean Midor, U.S. Army veteran. Latoria McNeil. Caitlin Miller. Honor Melton, U.S. Air Force veteran. Crystal Montoya. Destiny Olson. Michelle Mosley. Morgan Pacelli. Alan Jane Natividad, U.S. Navy. Shanika Party. Avery Unk, U.S. Army. Haley Peterson. Thomas Parrott. Patrick Pinckney. Jennifer Paz. Adam Powers, U.S. Army. Tony Piccolo. Pamela Ray. Samantha Popingo. Jose Sanchez, U.S. Army veteran. Rajni Ramos, U.S. Army. Chase Sartori. Mary Ann Rouse. Victoria Simmons. Audrey Santana. U.S. Army. Joshua Singer. Cameron Scales. Megan Singer. Dallas Street, 
U.S. Army veteran. Jessica Stockmeyer. Megan Swanson. Nathan Tufts, U.S. Army. Anita Walker. <laughs> Tiffany Watson. Roy Ward. Larry Westcomb, U.S. Army. Lisa Calderon. Zachary Wilson, U.S. Army. Jessica White. Shelby Wood. Noah Williams. Melissa Senti. Sarah Wolpert. David Gaines. Richard Cartagena, U.S. Army. Sarah Krakenbrink. Jennifer Zimmerman, U.S. Air Force. Alex Medina Noriega. Rosemary Elfrink. Asia Osborne. Emily Lentz. Kimberly Prince, U.S. Army. Taja Hilliard. Kelly Smith. Nakila Montague. Denise Walls. Jennifer Pilatus. Liliana Andrade. Matthew Rose, U.S. Army. Mario Contreras, U.S. Army veteran. Michael Williams. Adria Johnson. Adrian Jernigan. Nefra Cannon. Congratulations to the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences.
Will the School of General Education candidates please rise? <laughs> Chancellor Dooley, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the School of General Education. With the approval of the faculty, they are now being presented to you to be formally recognized for their degree. Thank you, Dr. DeCourt. And I bet you know what I'm going to say now. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University Global, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon each of you the master, bachelor, associates, or certificate with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree as evidence of the, this great achievement, you will now be formally recognized. I invite the, the marshals to escort all the students from the School of General Education to the stage. Congratulations to the Purdue Global Graduates Class of 2021. You did it. Woo! Congratulations, Purdue Global Graduates. You are now part of a Purdue network of more than 500,000 alumni. Together, we are Purdue for Life. Boil her up and hail Purdue Global! Congratulations, graduates. Wishing you the best success in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it! Yay! Go out and do amazing things. The following candidates from the School of General Education are earning their bachelor's or associate's degree. Matthew Johnny Britton. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Johnny Delgado, U.S. Army. Matthew Brady, U.S. Marines veteran. Randy McKinney. Terry Killian, U.S. Army. Thomas Santos, U.S. Navy veteran. Carl McGraw, U.S. Army veteran. Regina Vasquez. Melinda Swift, U.S. Army veteran. Alice Owens, U.S. Army. Let's give a round of applause for all of our graduates. You, you, you might have noticed I enjoy this as much as you do. I mean, this is just phenomenal. Um, we're almost at the finish line. Uh, families and friends, please remain seated and keep the aisles clear until the faculty and the graduates have exited the theater. You're going to have to find your graduate outside somewhere after the ceremony, so I hope you made those plans in advance. It's now time for what we call the ceremonial tassel turning. Candidates, no, not candidates, you're graduates now. Graduates, please rise. <laughs> Virtual graduates, put on your cap and tassel if you're not wearing it. As the Chancellor of Purdue University Global, I now invite you to participate in the tradition that will signify your new status. Graduates, as you're now the 2021 graduating class of Purdue University Global, you may change your tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations!
And let me simply say on behalf of everyone from Purdue University Global, we wish you a safe and joyous holiday season.